Lucy Luna having an afternoon coffee on a Sunday afternoon. How are you all? I am hunky dory fine. Um, I I should be doing these videos, I know, but um, I'm struggling to find something to talk about. Well, I'm on the blog a lot and I write a lot. I'm finding it easier to write words down rather than actually speak from the top of my head. Um, and that's quite unusual, actually, because I can usually talk for England. But um, anyway, I thought I'd better pop in and, and say, hello, I'm still here. But um, are you watching what's going on? Because I am. And uh, it just seems to me that there is not going to be any let up with the, the plans, um, the plan that is being rolled out. And when I mention plan, people say, what plan is that then? Well, people, if you are not following, you won't know anything about the plan. So you must keep a lookout on the news for in lots of different places, not just the telly. You've got to go on the internet, you've got to look out for people that are in the know, that know exactly what's going on. And there I get news on my computer um, before it goes out on the telly. But, uh, but then, of course, you say to people... I'm on Twitter. I get it all on Twitter. But then they say, oh, there's a load of naught cases on Twitter. Don't believe anything on there. Well, you, you're wrong about that, actually. There's a lot of very knowledgeable, clever, interesting people on Twitter. Um, so give it a try if you're not already on it. But um, you've got to... Yeah... You can't expect the truth to just fly in um, from wherever and land on your doorstep or land on your telly or land in your house. It doesn't happen like that. You've got to search the truth out uh, and you've got to keep asking questions. Now, I've just seen a video on here. Um... It is a, it's a Sky News video, I think, yes. And uh, Angela Rain is talking. And she is saying that this ULES scheme, you know, the ULES something about emissions in London where you can't drive here, can't drive there. You're only going to be able to go so far. If you drive over that way, you've got to pay extra. She has just admitted on an interview that that will be coming to every uh, town and city in the UK. So, you know, these plans, they're not hidden. They are out there and you can find out about them. You know, the 15-minute cities where they're going to cordon everything off, where they don't want you to travel and uh, you're going to be limited as to where you can go. Um, and then... I mean, it was, wasn't so long ago when people were saying, central bank digital currency, nah, that'll never happen. <laughs> well, it is happening. <laughs> and it's already happening in other countries. You see, we're not isolated on this island. We are part of the world. And whatever is happening here is happening in other places. I've um, just been to Aldi and had the car radio on for a bit. That's the only time I listen to the radio. And, um, yeah, um, it was a, a, talking about uh, conversations with um, political groups from other parts of Europe, other countries, you know, um, from, from Germany, France, Italy and wherever they are all facing the same th restrictions, the same plans that we are. Uh, and people are beginning to wake up. So really, it's we need to wake up because, 
you know, it cannot happen. Um, so if you want to be locked up in a 15 minute city, not able to leave your house, not able to spend your money in the way that you want to spend it, just carry on doing what you are told to do by the government, you know. But, but I will not be locked down. And, and I will keep spending cash. And uh, I've just been on Aldi and, and spent £45 on my shopping. And I, I've got the girl on the till now primed up because I did say... To, she, every time you go to Aldi, they say, cash or card? So, <laughs> and every time I say to this, always cash, always cash. So this time she was ready for me. I says, remember what I told you last time? Ah, yes, cash. <laughs> so, of course, she's got used to me now, spending cash. Um, so, if you want to keep hold of your choices, your freedoms to do exactly what you want to do, don't go along with with what what they're telling us, what they're saying will come in. It, it was called a conspiracy theory. You know, it's not a conspiracy and it's not a theory <laughs> because it's happening and it's happening in all European countries, uh, all the Western world, uh, in Australia, New Zealand and USA and Canada. I mean, um, the, the evil of the people running this or trying to run it or organising it it's not a secret. You can find out what they are doing if you want to. If you want to know. People are asking me questions um, and I always say to them, you have the same tools in your hand that I've got here. You could do the same. You know, and I'm not going to be doing all the work for the lazy people that can't be bothered to ask questions, they want all the work done for them. No, you, you've got to do it yourself, people. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. Was that a bit of a rant or what? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a bit miserable outside um, and I was hoping to get away soon. Um, but I think I'm going to hang on a bit because uh, we might get some more sun coming. And... Uh, and of course, you know what the sun is doing, don't you? The sun is setting the hot world on fire. So you would think, if you read the mainstream media news. Um, but I question that. And uh, so anyway, cheers. I feel, I feel like I'm in a devilish mood, you know. Because the more people try and tell me to shut up, give up, the more I want to talk about it. Because the more people that know, the better chance we've got to hold on to the lives that we've got. You know, and, and if people don't talk about it and just drift along, eyes shut, you know, oh yes, all right, I'll do that, thank you. No, no, you just say no. <laughs> Cheers. Oh dear. Bye for now. Toodle pip, thanks for popping in. <laughs>